Hey YouTube, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, Glenn just got himself into some trouble. Um, we got the walkie-talkie. Um, so let's see here. Let's talk to Doug here. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, bro. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Tim's tools and more. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? So this is his brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. <laughs> AJ Brother. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. I can use the remote. Open sesame. That yeah, won't work. Uh, why cool. not? It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Man, I 
That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> it's a combination lock. So... How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Okay. I think... Anything else to interact with? I think we have to leave and go save Glenn before we can get the keys. Let's We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. I just showed you the picture. All right. Let's go inside. I think we have to go save Glenn, then we can do this part. Let's head back inside. Okay. <clears throat> and I believe this runs in parallel with uh, the, the Walking Dead, the series or whatever. So, we're kind of starting off like we're uh, in the Walking Dead with like Rick and Shane and all them. And I'm pretty sure that's Glenn before he goes to Atl Atlanta. Like Glenn from the actual series. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go. Let's go. See what trouble we can get into now. Someone needs to tell her not to shoot that gun unless she absolutely has to. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen. I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving you. <laughs> with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay. Ooh, there's an axe over there. Yeah, we need to get some weapons or something. This picture frame isn't going to kill a lot of zombies. Yeah, put the gun down. We 
can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay. Oh man, she, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. Where to next? We can hide by that pickup. Ooh, look at that. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Well, I don't think I want to punch it, do I? That doesn't seem like the smartest of ideas. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. All right, let's go back over here. And let's go up here. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Hmm. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Maybe I need to punch it. I thought there was something over here to have to grab. All right, let's go back. Oh, what's that on the ground right in front of me? Yeah, there we go. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I'll smother you to death. She might be a good shot, but she's not much good for anything else. She's kind of ditzy. Sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. That yeah, one's silence is just as dangerous as the others. Those are illegal, Gwen. Just a thought. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. I figured I could put the pillow. That was sick. I figured we could have put the pillow on the glass and then she could have shot out the glass, but. else in here oh here we go it's a sparky thing spark plug you should hold on to that Pick them in handy Nice bumper sticker. Can I use a spark plug on the window? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. We got a weapon. That gets 
scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so he's pinned. Let's move back over here. Ooh, get down. Closing in. Oh gosh. <laughs> we died. <laughs> Game over. Hope you guys enjoyed. Well then. We said he was gonna wait till they got closer. Stab him in the head. Lee, get him! Dead at that time. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Oh man, he looks like a little troll. Can leave the screwdriver, dude. Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's cool. Now we've got this. <laughs> Are you two done? <laughs> All right. Two more. That should help. We're the fire brigade. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Choppy choppy! Aim for the heads. Chop! There we go. Oh my. Rad. <laughs> Rad. So who nailed her in? Look, like somebody... Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. She doesn't want us here. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You 
could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. <laughs> Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Boy, that was... That was hard to talk her into doing that. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? We need the gun back. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Man. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Savage. And did we even get any gas? That was the whole point of coming here, wasn't it? Was it get some Flipping fuel so we can get out of here. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Oh, good, good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, time to end this one, guys. Uh, we got to get those nitroglycerin pills for our dear friend Larry. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, and we'll get those in the next one. Kazmir out. <laughs>